Today I am going to discuss Turkey scholarship and in which I am discussing what documents are required, what will it cover and how do they evaluate you. Assalamu alaikum, I am Muhammad Junaid Anjum and today I am discussing Turkey scholarship. And you know this is the advertisement of this scholarship and the deadline is between 10 January to 20 January 2021. So let's see what will it cover. Uh, this scholarship is for undergraduate studies and also for masters and PhD studies. Uh, which we are calling the postgraduate programs. For example, if you are studying undergraduate program, then they will uh, give you 800 Turkish Lira per month. They will also give you tuition fee, return ticket, health insurance. But this re return ticket, you should remember, it will give you once. Uh, accommodation and you need to learn Turkish language for one year. The other thing for postgraduate program this similarly they will give you the similar thing except for the stipend. Stipends are different for both courses. Uh, for masters they will give you 1100 Turkish Lira per month and for PhD programs they will give you 1600 Turkish Lira per month. So you need to consider before coming whether your necessities are fulfilling in this scholarship or not. Otherwise, they will not give you anything extra. And this is the full-time scholarship and you cannot do any job. So what will be the length of this uh, scholarship? For master's, it is one year Turkish language course plus two years your uh, master course. And for PhD, similarly, one year you need to study the Turkish language and other four years you need to study PhD. And I am not giving you any other details about short term programs and other scholarships uh, because these are not fully funded. I am discussing today the fully funded scholarship. Let's see how to apply for this scholarship. Uh, you can apply this scholarship through this website and you need to know the instructions and warnings to fill up the application. And application are also required to submit and upload the required documents along with the uh, along with your application. And if you send your application by post, courier, or other or any other mean, they will not accept this application. You need to apply online. Application are free of charge. There is they will not charging anything for the application. So please do not entertain any third party institution or person. I mean you need you can apply by yourself you don't need to find an agent to apply in on behalf of you they will discourage you and turkey scholarship include post scholarship and the university placement at the same time you just need to apply here they will also place you any university and they will give you the scholarship and uh, you what, what you need to do you need to choose 12 preferences in the system and they will evaluate you and if you are capable, then they will place you in one of the 12 universities. What documents are required? All the educational documents plus your national identity document or valid passport and your all academic transcripts and uh, degrees, international score exam like CRE, GMAT, any of it. And it is based on the university. You need, If you are giving some preference in the system first you need to go to the university and see what are the requirement of that university if this university requires a gmat CRE, or any international exam then you need to take that exam and you need to submit the score along with your application they also need language test score like ielts and it is also based on the university and program on which you are applying a research proposal and example of written work and this is basically for PhD applicants only they need to present their master's work so that they can evaluate your research and on that basis they can they can make a, a decision whether you are capable of this scholarship or not
So what are the important details? You need to see this. Most programs in Turkish universities are mostly instructed in Turkish language, but some departments are there in which some programs are also in English and other languages. If you are applying for other language programs such as English, then you need to provide the proficiency certificate for your language. For example, if you are applying for the English program, you need to give the uh, English test score, international exam like TOEFL or IELTS. And undergraduate students who possess some international qualifications such as SAT or uh, GCSE, Institute of uh, National Exam Score, they need to provide minimum required qualification needed for completing secondary school according to this international exam. I mean, if you are not giving national exam, you need to provide an equivalence uh, according to the rules. And all Turkish scholarship awardees who do not possess C1 level certificate for Turkish proficiency must attend one year Turkish preparatory course and attain the C level certificate by the end of their academic year. Uh, if you are not a Turkish speaker, you need to pass C level ex C1 level exam to show your Turkish proficiency for first year. Uh, if you are failed to pass that exam, they may exempt your scholarship. So how do they evaluate you? Primarily, you know, you will submit all of your documents. They will review them and see whether your academic grades, age limit and other required documents are meeting the criteria or not. After that, they will shortlist on the basis of these things and then they will call you for the interview. Interview will be conducted for 15 to 30 minutes and in which you need to introduce yourself. And they will check your documents. They will check your motivation. They will check your academic knowledge and your career goals. And they will ask some questions about you, maybe your family and what you want to do in your future or after coming to the Turkey. So after the selection, they will notify you and then you can get this scholarship. When they will send you the documents, you will process your visa application and other things and then you can join the university. I hope you understand all the procedure and if you didn't subscribe our channel yet, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our new videos. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.